Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about patch panels. Now a patch panel is a flat piece of hardware with network ports that is typically located in a server room or wiring closet. And its purpose is to reduce clutter by keeping your network cables neat and organized. A patch panel is similar to a keystone jack and wall plate. The difference is, is that a patch panel has a large number of ports and is installed on a server rack near a switch and a wall plate has a small number of ports and is installed in a wall near a networking device, such as a computer. So the first question is, do you need a patch panel? Well, no you don't, it's not essential. But if you want to keep your network cables neat and organized, it would definitely help. So as an example, in a typical office building using an Ethernet network, you're going to have computers and networking devices that need access to the network. And all throughout this building, you're going to have Ethernet cables running inside the walls to all the rooms that have computers. And then the wires in those Ethernet cables will be punched down into RJ45 keystone jacks. And then those keystone jacks will be attached to the wall plates. And then those wall plates will be installed all throughout this building. And then from there, you're going to have Ethernet cables plugging the computers into those wall jacks. And at the other end of those cables, those cables need to be connected to a switch so that all the devices can be networked together and so they can also access the Internet. So here, all the cables are connected to the switch. And now the network is complete. Now you can leave it like this because it works. But as you can see, the cables are not organized. There's a lot of clutter, and if there was a problem with a computer connecting to the network due to a defective cable, it'll be very hard to pinpoint individual cables in this clutter. So this is where a patch panel can help. By installing a patch panel, instead of the cables being directly plugged into this switch, the cables will be connected to the back of this patch panel. So if we take a look at the back, in this particular patch panel, the wires are going to be punched down. So the RJ45 connectors will be removed from each cable and then the wires in the cable will be punched down to the back of this patch panel. And then the final step is to connect the patch panel with all its connections to the switch. And this is done by attaching short patch cables connecting a port from the patch panel to a port on the switch. And now this network is complete. And to even add more organization, the patch panel will have an area where the ports can be easily labeled so you can identify which cable comes from where. So as you can see from before and after, the patch panel makes your cables neat and organized in a centralized location. So patch panels offer several benefits. In addition to organizing your cables, they also make troubleshooting and maintenance jobs a lot easier and they are inexpensive. Hey guys, I want to tell you about my sponsor for this video, which is Masterworks. With inflation on the rise and a volatile stock market, and more people living from paycheck to paycheck, many people are uncertain about their financial future. And according to a recent study, one-third of workers now don't expect to retire until age 70. That is, if they can believe they can retire at all. That's why I'm excited to tell you about my new sponsor, Masterworks. Masterworks is the only platform that lets you invest into multi-million dollar works of artists such as Picasso, Banksy, and more. Now most of us can't afford to buy multi-million dollar paintings, but now you can buy shares of paintings through Masterworks. They're offering an investment with growth potential that may help against inflation with lower correlation to the ups and downs of the economy. In fact, it recently surpassed its pre-pandemic values. And now anyone can diversify their portfolio by investing in offerings of million dollar blue chip art. Masterworks has acquired over 300 paintings and already racked up some impressive returns for their investors. Now I haven't invested in Masterworks yet, but there's a reason over 750,000 people have signed up so far. So there is a waiting list, but my subscribers can skip the line and get started today by clicking my link in the description below. Now, some of you might be asking, well, what's the difference between a patch panel and a switch? Well, a switch is a powered device that actively and intelligently routes data, and switches are significantly more expensive. But a patch panel doesn't require power. It's just a piece of hardware that acts as a connection point for cables. It does the same thing as a keystone jack and wall plate. 
Now there are also different ways that cables attach to the back of patch panels. So in the Ethernet example that we used, if we take a look at the back, and as I stated earlier, this particular patch panel is a punch down type, where the wires are punched down using a punch down tool into the patch panel. But there are also other types, such as keystone blank patch panels. These panels have empty slots that support standard sized keystone jacks. So instead of the wires being punched down directly into the patch panel, the wires are punched down into standard keystone jacks. And then those jacks are inserted individually into the patch panel. And another type are coupler patch panels. These panels contain couplers where cables can just plug into with RJ45 connectors. So these are toolless panels that don't require the wires to be punched down. Patch panels also come in different types, depending upon what kind of network you're running. There is Ethernet, which we just talked about, fiber optic, and coaxial. So guys, I want to thank you for watching this video on patch panels. Please subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.